For example, a product is launched in the market. First, they have to analyze the demand and then supply it accordingly. Even that is okay. Did you think that the prices of different objects, different things that you go and buy in the malls or shops, is it just by guess? They simply they come up with one number? No. They use statistics and probability to find out what will be the proper amount so that people will buy it. Because if they price the amount much high, people will not at all buy it. So they have to analyze the data of all the people's earnings and many different parameters. They have to analyze that using statistics and probability and come up with a number which is most suitable so that their product will sell. So pricing a product is not a guess. They use statistics and probability in that. Being frustrated in mathematics or out of curiosity, do your children say, why should I learn mathematics? Where is mathematics used? It's okay, I know addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Why to learn all these things? If you're a parent or a teacher encountering these kind of things, you'll be wondering what to do, how to tell them that math is important. Yes, of course, we keep telling math is important, but do children see it? So, here in this video, I'm going to discuss about seven practical applications of mathematics which will make children think, wow, so I need to learn math. Right? Let's get out of the video. Before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Kala Karpiyaini. I'm a thinking catalyst. I make my students think about mathematics and solve problems on their own so that they become independent math learners for life. Okay, coming to the first before I start the first uh, application of mathematics, let me tell you that maths is not just le learned only to manage money. The maximum to maximum people tell the practical application of mathematics is if you don't learn mathematics, how you want to uh, you know shop for things in the shops, right? That's the only thing that think they think mathematics is useful. Okay, now we want to shop. Now do we, we do we give money nowadays? No. We give our cards, we give our credit cards, debit cards or UPI, right? What is happening there? Your credit card information or debit card information travels. How does it travel? It has to travel to the network. And for that, your credit card information is coded. That means it is changed in a certain way. And then when in the receiving end, it is decoded. That means so that when it is passing through the network, someone should not tap into it and get the information of your debit card or credit card. They should not get it. So, your it's like secret language. Your credit card information is converted secretively and then in the receiving end, they have a decoder which decodes it. Okay. For all this is called as cryptography and for this cryptography, prime numbers that our children learn, right? What are prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, they keep learning the prime numbers, right? So that prime numbers plays a great role in cryptography because they cannot be divisible by other numbers. That makes it a unique characteristics and in this particular situation, cryptography is used to code and decode the credit card or debit card information that you are putting in while you are shopping. Then the second thing that that will make children wow. For whatever it is, our children are so accustomed to go to Google and search for it, isn't it? Now, do they think how that Google is working? Google is going and searching, right? Google is going and searching different websites and getting it. Google search engine works on huge, massive matrices. So this is a topic in mathematics called matrix, right? Uh, children in higher grades nowadays, they have remove the top topic but when we used to study matrix used to be there in middle school and high school so google works on matrix if you if children don't know what is matrix it is just a box with num with things there and uh, for every box there's a position given and that position is what we talk about in matrix okay so google is searching this this information is there in this position that information is that there in that position so it is using that positioning, it is using the, the concept of matrix to search the information that you are typing in. Not only that, all the voice recognition, text recognition, face recognition, all these things have to be converted to a string of numbers 
so that it can go and match with something and then finally give the information or output out so understand our google search engines are working on massive matrices as well as strings of numbers which are from the text or voice or face that gets converted and then they use the string of numbers to check so mathematics is used in google the third thing is about the phone connectivity right when we call up some someone how are we sure that we'll we'll talk to that exact person not somebody else right you know this all network 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 what is network something comes and joins here something comes and joins here so that is network and mathematics has network theory first of all and also mathematics has something called a queuing theory queuing theory means just like how we stand in a queue after this person then that then that person then that person then that person right we go in the queue right so mathematics has a queuing theory which makes it sure that we reach the exact same person we are looking for when we are calling up a person right so mathematics is used even when we are talking over the phone right now the fourth thing it will be very surprising for children to know that to understand crime hotspots and criminal behavior they use statistics and probability you heard me right to understand the criminal behavior they use statistics and probability what is a crime spots what is a which is a place in the city where there is highest probability of crime right so to find out that one they use mathematics and not only that statistics and probability is used even to find what is the demand and supply for example a product is launched in the market first they have to analyze the demand and then supply it accordingly even that is okay did you think that the prices of different objects different things that you go and buy in the malls or shops is it just by guess they simply they come up with one number no they use statistics and probability to find out what will be the proper amount so that people will buy it because if they price the price amount much high people will not at all buy it so they have to analyze the data of all the people's earnings and many different parameters they have to analyze that using statistics and probability and come up with a number which is most suitable so that their product will sell so pricing a product is not a guess they use statistics and probability in that then the next thing imagine a world where you are singing okay you are very good in singing but only your family people your street people or city people can know about your singing not anybody in the foreign country what kind of life that would have been so let us let we be the singers here or let a great singers be in the foreign land we are able to hear the music that is recorded somewhere else in another part of the world here and whatever we are doing here some other part of the world people are listening to that that is only possible because of mathematics what is happening the music or the sound is getting converted to numbers and they are stored digitally and that digital information is easy to pass through the network or through devices and so people in the foreign countries can listen you know previously when music was recorded they used to have big big discs that was very difficult to carry so maximum it will go up to your next city or the next city within your country that's it not beyond that because it was very difficult to transport that recorded sound recorded music but now because of mathematics all the music all the sound gets converted to numbers and numbers can easily pass through networks easily pass through um uh, small small devices um just like a small microprocessor many things like that so math is makes music possible for you in your life otherwise you can't listen to all the fantastic music that is being recorded in a foreign country now the last thing that i'm going to discuss in this video about the practical application of mathematics will will surprise you will make you say wow 
Now, when we are sick, we go to hospital and they take our MRI scan, X-ray and all these things. What is all, what is all these things? Can all these things exist without mathematics? What, what mathematics is used in this? So, they use vector algebra, they use 3D modeling, all these things to enable to enable modeling the exact organ that is there in your body so that they can analyze the problem and they can do. Um, not only in um, hospitals, right? You see movies and you know, right? Great movies, they use a lot of graphics. We know graphics, but did you know that graphics means what? Graphics means actually using vector algebra and using 3D modeling, right? All these things are coming from mathematics. Using mathematics only, they come up with the, come up, I recently heard that some actor uh, was not there. I mean, he, during the shooting of the, the film, he passed away and they came up with a virtual model of him so that the movie could be completed. I don't remember the movie, name of the movie. I forgot. But then all these miracles can happen only using mathematics. Using mathematics, they have modeled that entire person and made him do the actions and took, took his voice from other movies, then simulated it and picked and chose those words that he has already told in some other movies. That those are called as data collection, data simulation and then they made the entire dialogue and they are presenting it to the people. Even the person is gone. The things that he has done little bit, they are using that one and creating or carrying forward his legacy and giving the pleasure of that same person's, same person acting, right? All these things would not have been possible without mathematics. I think now because of this, you got a lot of idea what you can talk to your children about mathematics. Even if you cannot do much, I'm giving a link in this uh, uh, video's description where you can go and see and actually validate what I am trying to say. You can just give a top level idea to your children and ask them to go into this link so that um, they can see the actual mathematics behind it. Okay. If you like this video, like it, share it with people and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notifications button so that you get notified about making your children independent math learners confident and interested in mathematics and let them discover their own true potential. I believe every child, everybody is a mathematician. There is a mathematician in everybody. All these things that I am discussing here is mentioned in my book, upcoming book. If you want to pre-book it or interested in buying it, want to get notified when it will be launched, click on the link given in the description so that you get notified and you get much more information than the just few things that I have shared in this video. Until then, see you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications button. Bye-bye.